After finally arriving in Genshin Impact, the Unreconciled Stars event has three important things you need to know about. Just like in many other gacha games, the most important thing when it comes to event shops is to analyze the offered awards and prioritize what to acquire first. The first shop will be used to redeem your Fading Stars might for regular rewards like Mora, Experience Books and Ascension Materials. You can acquire this specific currency by completing the side quests and salvaging the meteorite shards that will appear in select areas of the map. These two methods so far seem to be of limited quantity, since only few side quests get unlocked in each new event phase, and the meteorites you salvage from the marked sites also don't appear to be unlimited. So the last remaining way you will be able to acquire the largest amount of quantity of Fading Stars might will be the second event phase which will become available on November 18th. And this is going to be a special encounter where we will be able to spend resin in order to redeem the currency. Now because you are spending resin in order to get more Fading Stars might, you might be questioning yourself if it's even worth acquiring for the event rewards. Well it appears to be that if you complete the highest level of this encounter, you will get 25 Fading Stars might which could be used to redeem 6 Heroes Wits. And this is a very good deal for anyone who's below adventure rank 45, since currently at rank 50 you can get on average 5 heroes wits from completing the leyland deposit for the same amount of resin that it would take to complete the special meteorite encounter. So in other words, this is definitely the best deal for anyone who wants to acquire experience books effectively. But keep in mind, the rest of the rewards are not really worth redeeming as it's best to focus on only getting heroes wits first before you move on to the next rewards. However, once Star's Destiny becomes available, which is the third phase of the event that will start on November 23rd, you should only focus spending your resin on this part of the event. Star's Destiny will be a co-op event that will award Fading Star's Essence, which can be redeemed for arguably the most crucial item in the game, Crown of Sagehood. And this item is needed to upgrade your character's talents and there is currently no other way than getting this item from special events like Unreconciled Stars. You shouldn't bother redeeming anything else from the shop except for Crown of Sagehood. And the same applies for spending resin. Instead of completing the previous special meteorite encounter, only focus on doing as much of the Star's Destiny co-op up event as possible, or at least until you can buy out all the crowns of Sagehood, since they appear to be of limited quantity. All in all, from the two shops available during the event, focus on acquiring all crowns of Sagehood first, since getting the Fading Star's Essence is going to cost a lot of resin, and because this item is of limited quantity and not available anywhere else, it's best to obtain them before anything else in the shop. And for any Fading Star's might you have acquired, spend them first on Hero's Wits as they are mathematically the best bang for your Fading Star's buck. The first thing you will notice after starting the event will be the Unknown Star Encounter, where you will go out into the world and collect Fallen Meteorite Shards. But it seems to be there is a slight problem. Once you're done with the area, which is by collecting 7 of the Meteorite Shards, you can still pick up more even after completing the task. However, if you complete the required amount of shards and then use teleportation, the previously shown Meteorite Shards will disappear from the map. And this has been tested 3 times with different outcomes and it seems to be there are just too many inconsistencies. For example, when scouting one of the areas, once 7 of the required shards were collected and the task was completed, even after teleporting, new shards were still popping up on the minimap and more of them were collected even after completing the task and teleporting. But until MiHoYo addresses this issue, it's highly advised for you to first enter the area and collect as many meteorite shards as possible before teleporting or logging off. This way, you can get more than 7 shards shown from the task and end up with few more heroes wits from the shop. One last thing to keep in mind is that it's not confirmed how many areas we will be able to collect the shards from, although it seems to be that there will be 3 more areas added as mentioned in the official developer notes, so it's possible we will get at least 6 areas in total to collect the fallen meteorite shards. One of the easiest things to miss about this event are the special damage bonuses characters will get during both of the Star of Deceitful Dreams and Star of Destiny phases. By pressing on the event guidelines and scrolling to the bottom, you will notice that some of the characters will receive 60% damage bonus when fighting in either the solo meteorite special encounter or the co-op battle. This is another one of the most common things among gacha games when it comes to events, getting special damage boosts for certain characters. And as you can imagine, bringing someone that can deal so much more damage will be a welcome addition to any of the co-op battles who will be joining, as well as just in general having more fun with big numbers. So keep this in mind before joining any of the battles, as it will definitely make your fights easier, especially if you decide to go solo mode. Let's not forget that we can get Fischl for free after November 23rd, since our last unlock condition requires you to complete the 7 Fallen Star Challenges, which is the final co-op event. Also, don't forget that the Battle Pass has 2 additional and easy to complete missions. And to quickly summarize, there are 2 event shops. You should focus on getting all the Crowns of Sagehood first before anything else, since this is a crucial resource for leveling character talents and is not available anywhere else in the game. And when you're redeeming your Fading Star's might that you've acquired from quests, meteorite sites and salvage points, make sure 
prefer to only get the hero's wits as they are proven to be most efficient and valuable. But of course, once the final co-op event is available, spend your resin on that one only, since it's going to be your only way to get those precious crowns of sagehood. And if the developers haven't fixed the issue yet, make sure to collect the fallen meteorite shards without teleporting from the area, especially if you have already completed the task so you can get more of the fading star's might. Finally, take special notice of the characters who will receive huge boosts for both of the special encounters and use them to your advantage, especially if you're going to play in solo mode. Enjoy the video, make sure to subscribe to us by hitting the bell notification on and gently pressing the like button. You can get more useful Genshin news and guides by following us on Twitter from the description box below and we've got more videos recommended for you so make sure to check them out. Thank you for watching us.